What's up you guys, welcome back to another episode of Crispy On. Sorry I've been gone, I've been traveling, I was sick. As you guys last saw, my last video was uh, teaching you guys how to make the soup. And then I went over to SHOT Show in Vegas. Now SHOT Show is a huge, huge um, convention center that is full of everybody in the gun industry. And I was gonna do a blog there, but I forgot my camera at home. And it was just a mess, and I still wasn't feeling well. But today, as you can see, I got my tent mounted in my truck and I am headed to go see Mullet Man. We're headed over to Kansas. We're gonna be doing a little goose hunting and uh, I can't wait, you know, I, I gotta go pick them up. So I'm gonna get on the road and then once we get on the road, we will fill you in on what it is that we're doing, where we're gonna be at and the amazing people that we're gonna be hunting with. So follow along for the ride and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here we go. Where are you going? Where are we going? You know we're going duck hunting, I mean goose hunting, right? We're not no. going on... A big deer hunt? Yeah, what do you, I mean... I had to bring my, I looked at the weather and it was like 30 degrees. I was like, there's no way I can fit all this stuff. It's in just two bag. states over, not not another country. I know it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that, guys. Jeez. Look at your bag, you have no room to talk. What are you, that, that's like half the size of yours. No, it's not. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so we've been on the road for what, like 11 hours now? Something like that. And then we just made it to Cabela's here in Wichita. We're gonna get our licenses. We're gonna get some ammunition. What else we gotta get? Hot, like, ha hot hands, cause it's gonna snap. I don't need hot hands. We're from Texas. I'm, I don't need hot hands. My mom didn't race no, uh, I'm gonna bleep that out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna walk in here and get some, uh, and get our stuff all situated and then we're gonna get back on the road and make it to the hunting lodge um we're actually he's gonna get in the lodge i'm gonna sleep in my tent i'm gonna open that thing up later on so you guys can see it and uh camp out in there um, I, I hope i don't freeze to death because it's supposed to snow oh, you so, don't need hot hands uh, no, a beep. that damn it um now i'm biting my own word dang it uh i might bite some I might buy a blanket. I might buy a blanket. Oh, a heated blanket. <laughs> a heated blanket. blanket. Yeah, a heated blanket. I'll plug it into the truck. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go inside and get this done. So, come on, let's do it. The great outdoors, in one word. But you need to get sponsored by Cabela's, dude. I, you know, right? I'm tired of spending money in this place. Man, Man, I had a gift card from Christmas too. I forgot. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I could have used it. I don't know about y'all, but this is the only way to start a goose hunt in the morning. <laughs> yeah, try not to get stuck. We just passed the first truck that got stuck. Yeah. There you go. There you go. What's up, guys? Hey, welcome back. Uh, we are in Kansas, as you guys probably seen. We stopped at uh, Cabela's and got our licenses and got all set up had dinner with the guys last night and uh we were on the field and damn was it crazy he sent out a text message saying hey go the other route not this way and we got it halfway through and i'm not gonna lie i came to a point where i was kind of scared like ah, we're gonna get stuck but you know the old old girl pulled through she got right through it and uh she's super dirty so i'll show you guys a video later when the sun comes up so you can see it but right now the guys that are behind us setting up all the decoys we're gonna sit we're gonna get to it um it, it's about to start snowing when we got here it was raining um but i'll take the snow over the rain so let's wait for the sun to come up i'm excited this is my first time shooting uh any geese i mean i have never ever done this so i'm pumped so uh follow along and i hope you guys enjoy this footage Out with a mouth.
Look at this, you guys. Look at this. So, what we ended up doing was, sorry, let me get this fixed here. What we ended up doing is, we drove down that road behind me, and uh, we didn't get their message until like last minute, telling us to go through the north side. And once we got it, we were already deep in it, and there was no turning back, so we just kept going. And uh, we got cake pretty good. I mean, my truck is full of mud. Look at this. Look at that. Look at those tires. Holy smokes. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Oh, man. And to top it off, we got a bunch of sleet falling down, as you guys can see. Look at that. But, yeah. We are going to uh, we are going to call it a day. We're gonna head back into camp, regroup, and figure out what we're gonna do. So uh, you know, I guess we gotta figure it out. As you guys saw in footage, I mean, there was a ton of birds. They just weren't coming in. They weren't having it. So you know, it's part of hunting. It happens. Nothing we can do about it. Man, there's even what on my hands. Um, so we're gonna regroup. We're gonna go back figure it all out and then uh, hopefully get on some birds so uh, I'm gonna go take a nap <laughs> look at this look at this we've been here one day and the weather changed completely it was raining let me move this way so I don't get any uh, any ice on the lens um, it was raining when we got here now it's snowing look behind us like this is crazy come on Kansas get it together I'm not complaining actually, I really love it. Um, we didn't get a lot of snow in Texas, so not complaining at all, not complaining at all. I'm really enjoying it. Look how cool that looks. Look at that tree behind me. Is that not cool or what? I freaking love it. Um, I get jealous of you guys that live up north, they get snow all year round, but I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be in the comments like it gets old, um, I know. I used to live in Germany when I was stationed out there and I remember uh, snow was falling like the first five minutes and then after that you were like, I'm over it. <laughs> so uh, we are staying in the house today because you know, nothing's gonna be flying today and they've been scouting and there's nothing on the air. So Mike and I and a couple other folks uh, are gonna be inside the cabin. Yeah, I gave up on the tent so I'm moving into the cabin. Oh yeah. So another morning, uh, woke up super early again, and now we are headed to a different blind, which I'm excited because they said they have somewhere between four to 5,000 birds. And uh, now we just gotta get them to come in so we can have a good day. But we woke up to this again, which is pretty awesome. And, uh, but it's cold, but I'm not complaining. Like I said earlier, we don't get this type of weather in Texas, so I'll take it. I don't know about Mike, but I like this weather. I'm in for it every now and then. <laughs> Same here, every now and then it's perfect, but I don't know, I, I just like the snow. <laughs> Go down, you suit. I'm Jeff Taylor, guys. Go down. Go down. Thursday. Alright guys. Why? That was pretty. I'll claim that one. That was pretty. Good shot, dude. Good shot, brother. Go down. All right, guys. So we are done here, and uh, we. What do you think, Mike? We had a semi-productive day, I guess you can say. They had a ton of birds in. They just wouldn't work right. Yeah, I mean, as you guys probably seen already, uh, they were coming in. They just won't. Wouldn't fly down low enough for us to take a shot, and we were gonna take a shot that high because I just it wasn't gonna be good. We we're gonna waste rounds, and we were gonna hit any bird. So, uh, it is what it is. This is what we were able to kill. And uh, Mike's gonna take it back and he's gonna make uh, some jerky out of it, right? Yes, 
Sir. Yeah, so we're gonna make some jerky and then um, this is it for us. We're gonna make our way back to Texas. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please do me a favor, go like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.